Hello. Welcome to basic technology class for JSS2. This is to be taught by Mr. Ejogu Ono S. And today's topic is on more about woodwork machines. The specific objectives are one. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to list four cotton operations done with woodwork machines. Two, mention one machine used for each of the operations. Three, write any five saw blades of circular sewing machines. Four, state two classes of woodworking or woodwork planing machines. Number five, give any four necessary maintenance of woodwork machines. Cotton operations with fixed woodwork machines. Woodwork machines are used to perform the following operations. Sawing, planing, drilling, and turning. Sawing operations. The two major sawing machines used in woodwork are circular sawing machines and band sawing machines. The cutting parts, these circular sawing machines use are called blades. Some of the examples of such blades include rip blade, cross cut, tapper saw, hollow ground, sewage, ground off, wobbler drunken grooving blades, novelty, and planar saws. Each of the above blades or saws is special and are fitted onto the circular sewing machines as the needs arise. For instance, rip saw is used to cut along the grains of wood, while cross-cut saw is for cutting, the cutting across the grains of the wood. The figure in 12.3 signifies the circular cotton machines. The second diagram below refers to the one of the source that is used by circular sewing machines. Other blades are also shown in the following diagrams. Next, subheading under sewing operation is band sewing machine. This is a special machine which operates on two pulleys and an endless saw blade tooted on one edge in the form of band of a band. It can only be used for band sewing. Example, cutting curved shapes, straight sewing, and joint construction. The diagram of the band sewing machine is shown in the diagram. It is also followed by the structure or the diagram of the band source. 
the main class or the two main classes of wood planing machines are called surface planer or jointer. The second one is called thicknessing machine. These two machines are used for planing operations of woods. And the planing operation is carried out after sawing of the woods. The planing machines are used to remove saw marks on faces, edges, and ends of woods. These marks need to be removed by planing on the machine since sawn timber will wind or twist slightly if care is not taken and the saw marks need to be removed to produce a flat surface and straight edges. The surface planing machine is used for performing the following. A. Trimming up the edges. B. Removing the wind or twist on the face of the wood. C. Rebetting. D. Chamfering. E. Bevelin. F. Tapering. And G. Tenoning. The diagram of surface planar is also shown in the figure that is on the note below. The next planning machine is called thicknessing machine. This is exclusively used for planning to specific thickness after surface planning. Cutter blocks of these machines are usually circular with provision for two or more blades. The drill press and lathe machines are used to perform drilling and turning respectively, as stated in the last lesson. Diagram of wood lathe with its accessories are also shown on the lesson notes. Next subheading is captioned maintenance of woodwork machines. All woodwork machines are electrically operated and need the following maintenance steps to function effectively and be more durable. One, we should avoid partial electrical contact during operations. Two, there should be need to avoid accumulation of dust and rusts on the plugs and other electrical parts that can cause insulation. <laughs> Number three, we should off the switches of the machines after use. Do not expose the electrical conductors to avoid electric shocks and short circuiting. Number five, there is need not to expose the electrical conductors to moisture to avoid short circuiting. Burnt and expired conductors such as wires, plugs, and switches should also be replaced. Recommended sources or voltage sources should be used to power the machines. Other maintenance strategies needed in woodwork machines include that the slacked boats and other Fasteners should be corrected. Number nine, cutting edges should be properly sharpened. Spoiled parts should be repaired or replaced. Necessary lubrication should be done 
to the frictional parts. Example, the motors and the wheels. Number 12, the machine should be used for the right jobs. That is for the steps of the woodwork project needed. We should also avoid overloading the machine and clean the machines after use by dusting, brushing, br blowing the wooden particles and cover the machines where necessary. Summary. We have known that various types of operations are carried out when we are producing woodwork projects. And these operations most of the times require woodwork machines. We refer to these machines as fixed woodwork facilities that are electrically driven equipment usually fixed to the floor, a stand, or a bench. They are used after conversion of wood and are mostly found in the saw mills and some wood workshops or workshops. The chronological order of their uses are sawing, recycler, and band sawing saws, planing with surface and thicknessing machines, drilling and turning wood operations can be done with drill press and woodlets. For the machines to serve effectively, the electrical and the mechanical parts should be maintained as listed above. Assignments. Number one, list four cotton operations done with woodwork machines. Two, mention one machine used for each of the operations. Number three, write any four saw blades used in woodwork circular sawing machines. Four, state any or state the types of woodwork planing machines. Finally, give any six necessary maintenance practices that is necessary for woodwork machines. Until we meet again in the next class, have a nice day.